Well, I'm out near my house, out near where I live, on a short hike. I didn't feel like a real strenuous hike, so I'm just kind of exploring the local area. There's an area called the Green River Gorge. It's about, oh, 20, 30 minute drive away from where I live. It has an unmarked trailhead. There's all kinds of flowers blooming, all kinds of berries ripening. Some of them I recognize as edible, some salmon berry and wild blackberry. Some I don't recognize and I don't mess with those. Yeah, it's a really beautiful day. Mid 70s, a little bit humid, a little cloudy, which is kind of why I chose a forested scene today. I'm looking to find a scene of the gorge of the river with some rocks and some water. Maybe a bridge or a little waterfall. We'll see what I can find. That's a pretty scene right there. That old mossy log with some flowers growing on it. This dappled light in the forest is always attractive to me. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a workout coming back up. I'm gonna check this over here. Yeah, it looks like it's a ways down to the river, but not too far. Well, I've been going for about a mile and dropping down elevation. You can start to hear the river. It's a little slippery along this path. I recommend a walking stick and some good boots. Just look at that crystal clear water. So pretty. Those orange and blue, red, every color of the rainbow rock under that water. I don't know if it's coming out in the video, but it is lovely. The sun shining down through the water, reflecting off the water in some places. The blue of the sky reflecting off the water. Just lovely. I can tell this is going to be a place I come back to. So many different views and I'm sure it's so different depending on the time of day and the season. Wow, I should have worn my shorts. It was a little overcast and cool when I got up this morning and got ready for my hike. If I'd known it was going to be sunny and such inviting water. I would have worn my shorts so I could jump in. I'm going to keep walking along the river here and see what I can find. Found a beautiful spot to set up and paint. It's uh, right on the river, uh, facing almost north, a little bit northeast. So I'll have the sun to my back, which would be nice. Got a little bit of shade due to these beautiful trees behind me, which would make a lovely painting themselves. So I should be good. It's rocky ground, so a little difficult to set up and. We'll probably get a little uncomfortable standing here, so I'll go kind of quick. Let me show you what I want to paint. 
I want to paint that little deep pool and the rapids running over that orange rock. And I'd like to get some of these foreground rocks in the sun. I just love how the sun is picking out all the colors of the rainbow in those river rocks. Some really neat shapes in there. I'm gonna have to work hard on cropping the composition, finding something simple that I can capture. What I wanna do is just capture the colors I'm seeing and the feeling of the place. The beautiful sound of the river, how crystal clear, pristine the air and the water feel. I love it that it's kind of a partly sunny day. That means the sun's going to be coming in and out, which will make some interesting scenes, some dramatic lighting. And I'll have the camera going so I capture those. I can use those later maybe for a, as a reference for another larger studio painting. I may come back another day and try again from a different location. If I knew it was going to be overcast the whole time, I'd sit up a little bit closer to the river, but I think the sun's going to be coming back and I don't really want to be standing in the sun the whole time. So I'm in kind of partial shade from those trees. Yeah, beautiful scene. I love this rocky, mossy, woody, lush wall going up behind the river. I'm not going to be able to capture much of that, but I'll just suggest it. And I'll get some pictures of it while I'm here. So I'll get set up. As always, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you like these videos, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and share it with your friends. I've got my palette laid out here. I'll give you a quick rundown. Got titanium white, cerulean blue, cobalt blue, ultramarine blue, sap green, burnt umber, burnt sienna, alizarin crimson, cad red, cad yellow, and cad yellow light. A little bit of yellow ochre here as well. I'll start with a turpentine wash and I'll really dilute the paint heavily with turpentine. I'll be careful not to spill any. I've got some plastic down below where I might drip to catch it, catch the drip so I can clean everything up and leave the area just as clean as I found it. Um, in the scene I see a lot of cad yellow and some burnt sienna as well maybe a little bit of cad red as well. I'm gonna go with those warm colors for the initial wash in, and then I'll paint over that with the more true final colors. And since a lot of the colors in, a, in the scene are green, they should really pop against those warm tones. I also see some beautiful blues. I don't know if it's coming through on the video, but I see some beautiful blues in those river rocks, which should pop against the warm underpainting or the warm initial wash. I really love the soft shades of greens and browns, the earth tones in that hillside, in that tree. That should be fun to try to just suggest. I'm going with an 11 by 14 panel today since it's such a beautiful spot. I've got a spot here in the shade and uh, it's just a little bit of a breeze. I'm not in any kind of rush, so I can take my time and really enjoy the painting process, enjoy doing the painting. What I want to gain here is just to capture the moment and capture the colors I'm seeing. Now, the longer I stay, the more the colors are going to change. So I do need to be aware of that and try to move kind of quickly with ca capturing the colors. 
especially in those moments like right now where the sun is hitting that little rapid it's really glowing it's making the the sun is hitting the rocks in the river and really making them vibrant so now you see it's fading away as it goes behind a cloud again so I need to try to wait for those moments to mix those key colors the reddish rusty reddish of the rocks that phthalo slightly yellow color of the deep water the slightly pink foam or splashing water it's not really pure white it really has a nice alizarin crimson glow to it except where it's in the shadow over there where it has more of a of that phthalo very light phthalo green slightly yellow hints and then those rocks in the background there in the shade are kind of a warm gray so it's surprising you'd think that those rocks being such a distance away and in the shade they'd be more of a blue but they're kind of a warm lightly brownish tannish gray so beautiful spot should be fun I'll get going I'll start with a number 10 Utrecht bristle brush it's a nice old brush it's a little bit soft it's a little short it's good for scrubbing in that initial wash Now I want to take a quick step back, have a cup of coffee, and just make sure my composition looks right, make sure the values look about right for the scene. If it starts to kind of blend in to the scene, when you kind of sight size, get it about the same size as the subject you're painting, if it almost looks like it disappears when you step back, then to me I'm on the right track. And that's doing about the right thing so those values are pretty close now I'll darken up some of the darkest darks and I'll lighten up some of the lightest lights but in general that map looks pretty good what I don't like so far is this foreground that's a little boring because it's just flat so I think I want to come out a little bit down and then back out again kind of allow the river to sweep in and out 
but I'll play with that as I go. What I also want are some sight lines leading toward the center of interest, so I'll try to develop those as well. The colors for the background hill mi mixed up here, including that foreground big boulder. So I've got darkest dark for the shadows, a darker green for some of the greenish toned shadows, then the darker leaves, lighter cool leaves, lighter warm leaves, and then some shades for the rock, and then some shades for those rocks off on the right hand side and the, the trees I see in there too, the tree trunks have kind of a, a reddish cool hue. do these paintings outdoors I'm not really going for a masterpiece what I'm trying to do is well I'm trying to do a few things I'm trying to enjoy the I'm trying to enjoy the experience of being out here which I usually do I love being in the woods and getting a little exercise seeing a new place almost as important I'm trying to gather reference material for a studio painting I'm trying to discover compositions, lighting, color ideas for future paintings. So, you know, as long as I do those things, as long as I have fun and get some painting exercise and get some physical exercise, I, I count it a pretty good day. And then if I can also get some ideas for a bigger painting, that's great. And then once in a while when the plein air painting turns out well. It's something that I feel like I could hang on my wall or that I'd be proud to sell to someone. Then that's even a, a bigger bonus.
finally got finished. Had a really nice time. Spent a couple hours here. Uh, almost two hours here and the light really changed. But it was a beautiful day. Really enjoyed it and got some good exercise in. Some good painting exercise. Let me show you where I ended up. Here's the finished painting. I kind of like how it ended up. So I'd say today was a pretty good success. This was very close to home. Really easy to get to and just endless scenes to paint. And I had the camera running for a little while while I was painting. Unfortunately, I knocked my backup battery into the pool near my easel, into the pool of water near my easel, and it seems to have fried it. So my video recording battery is dying quickly, so I wasn't able to record the whole process, but hopefully I got enough to make it interesting for you. And I did get some, I think, beautiful reference photos and, and movies while I was here. I do like how this corner came out. I like that very rough orange, lavender suggestion of rocks there. I like how this rock is also kind of popping out amongst the soft greens and browns there on the, the other bank. Well, it was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope I'll see you on the trail.